Hi YouTube, I'm the Mace Man, and welcome to this episode. Uh, today we're going to be playing Journey. Uh, this is one of my favorite games, so I figured we could kick back uh, and enjoy one of the best video game experiences of all time. Let's hop in. This game came out in 2012, but it is still just so amazing. I am playing the Steam version, which came out in 2019. Um, I was so happy when I heard that they were porting it over just so that more people could experience this game. The music in this game alone is worth playing for. Now, I have played this game quite a few times, but I did play when it originally came out on the PS3 and then again on the PS4, and I've only played it once on the uh, Steam version, so I, I don't have the white robe that I got on the PlayStation, but we're going to enjoy this. Standard controls, WASD, always good. One of my favorite parts of this game is there's not much overall direction. Like, you know, I could just go off over there if I wanted to. Um, and, you know, they just expect you to see this on top of the mountain and go. And it's, it's just such a great design game. Come on, little dude. You can make it. I had this shot right here as my computer background for the longest time. I still have a journey screenshot as my computer background, just not this one. If any of you haven't played this game, I highly recommend playing it. It is one of the best experiences playing a video game of all time. We can talk. We can do what they call chirp, which, you know, do short ones. We can really get into it. And that will that will be important later. That scarf lets you do something very cool in this game that changes it from just being a, a walking sim to being a little something more you can fly sick barrel roll in the sand there you call these old guys over there recharge your scarf so you can fly again now for any of you that have played this game you know that uh, there's many ways to get more of those little tasks to increase your scarf. I'm not going to be focused on getting all of them. Um, I have done that before. Um, but for this playthrough, I just want it to be a just relaxing just experience of the game. I love how if you want to get more of the lore and the backstory of the game, if you find these, you're like, well, this just looks like a, you know, some sort of wall and thing. Well, like it's telling, if you press spacebar, that shows you, okay, so now all those things that we passed out there, all those markers, those are all graves for other red robes.
Ah, so you see over there, there's another glyph. So let's go get that. Let's get our rope a little longer so we can fly a lot easier. I'm gonna need to go back and get some help from these guys again. I'm out of flight. These guys are trapped in there. Let them out. Not that way. We can fly even longer, which is very nice. That will become important in later, later parts of the story. So this is still the tutorial part of the game, so it's showing you, hey, you can, you know, call these guys and all of them will come and give you a big boost. So I'm not holding the fly button right now. So that's one way you can get a boost into some harder to reach areas and some secret areas later on. So when you come across one of these, you can light up these things and this lets you, gives you a place to meditate. And these are basically the end of level checkpoints. These also reveal a lot about the story. If you're interested in more of the lore in the background of this game, um, there's tons of videos on YouTube. I am by no means an expert, but that's one thing I love about this game is it gives you enough information to just build your own ideas of what this world was like and what is going on and what's happening. So like in that one, you know, the, it looked like that mountain that we're trying to get to is giving the life to the land that these rogue creatures are using. Um, and there's, you know, probably deeper more to it, but it can mean whatever you want it to mean to you. Uh, which that's one of the reasons it's just such a great experience is it's all open to interpretation. I think the Broken Bridge level, which is this, might be my favorite level in the game. Um, for any of you who have played, uh, let me know down in the comments. Let me know what your favorite level is, what you're most looking forward to be getting to. Uh, I will be playing through the whole game, uh, just not in one sitting. So I like you know taking a survey. Like over there, you can see there's another, uh, you know, there's another glyph to extend our scarf over there. Um, I love this game. It's also kind of like a puzzle. Like okay, we have to figure out, we have to get to that beacon of light. How are we gonna do that? The bridge is broken. Let's go find out. First, let's go get our scarf longer. There we go. So, a little surely, we're getting longer. We're going to fly for a while pretty soon. I just love the sand, the physics in this game. They're incredible. I mean, for a game that's so old, I mean, this game is, what, 11 years old now? That, I mean, it's, and it still stands up this well. Thank you, little guys. Give me a boost. Let's 
So this one looks a bit bigger than the others. Let's get a big shout in for that. That tassel's done. These guys going? Are they gonna help me? Well, they are. The bridge is no longer broken. I won't, you know, try to get all the secret glyphs, but I do know where a few of them are, especially in this one. So I'll, I'll get a few, just because it makes it a little, a little nicer to have a longer scarf later on. So over here under the sandfall here, there's another one of the, the lower boards, I call them. Uh, some of them don't show you much, so I mean, it just shows, uh, you know, one of the cities that we've been running through with a bunch of wind. So, and it looks like maybe it's being buried by sand, so maybe there's a sandstorm that destroyed it, who knows. But you can see there's these bridges all over the place, they're all broken, way off in the distance. So the civilization, whatever it was, used to be very, very big. And just near the lower board is another glyph. So we get a boost. Oh, just made it. You'll notice uh, my robe has a few more designs on it on the bottom rim there. Um, as you uh, complete the game, every time you complete it, your robe uh, upgrades. Well, upgrades your robe uh, gets more on it. Um, and eventually, if you do enough in the game you can get a white robe. Um, so if you see some of them, then you know that they've played a little bit. And that gives you some special bonuses, lets you fly a little bit easier. There is an achievement for this level to cross the broken bridge without fully repairing it. As you can see, there's four sections missing. That one we, we released earlier filled in two of them. This one we just released is going to fill in a third. Um, if we wanted to, we could try to get the achievement for doing with only three of the four sections filled in. Um, but I'm just going to complete the game as intended first. Just a hint, if you are gonna, if you do want to try for the achievement, what I just did makes it harder, in my opinion. Um, the way I did it, I filled in the first section, which is from that, to, uh, filling in that ribbon down there left the second section open and got the final two. Um, you can get a big speed boost going over the first one to get through the second one without the bridge. Um, but I'm not going to worry about doing that for this time, for this playthrough. And you might notice the a lot of these uh, little ribbon pieces were are stuck in these stone box looking things um, that we're standing on. And those will come into play later. parts you can just fly for free over ribbon type creatures so the music kicks up has a little halo sound to it I love it Just like before we finished another level, so we get to meditate with a white room, one of the ancestors. For 
first time I saw this, I was like, whoa, they're huge! <laughs> continues from where the last uh, of how it continues from where the last one left off and you notice in all these ones all the, the little robe creatures they're all they all have white robes on showing at least how I interpret it is you know in the first one it showed the mountain giving these you know creatures that they started growing plants and they had gardens and everything and now in this one it shows they were able to harness those to give power um, is what it looked like they were you know running power through their buildings and lighting them up Getting like it's you know a growing civilization There comes another comet of the mountain, which is similar to how the game opened. So those obviously mean something. So you can hear this, how you can hear the sound it makes. I like how every section is a little different. So we're still in the desert, but this sand looks a bit more pink. Um, like I was showing, you know, days, you know, growing down. It's getting a little darker out. The sand's not as bright and red. There's another one of these stone things that has some of our friends trapped in it. Let's go and get them out of there. Ah, new type. So this one isn't just straight tassels. This is a cloth sky fish, a bird, whatever you want to call it. And it likes to burrow, apparently. He's trying to lead me over to here, which looks like there's more things trapped. There's a whole bunch of them. I don't know, you can just ride, they'll just come pick you up and carry you occasionally. Another lore board. See, this shows you know there's there's birds that are growing crops. Still the white robes. Oh, there's another comet. Go right over here. Love how the sound design in this game is just fantastic. So you can just look at it. It looks like there might be something over there to go see. Which might be where they want me to go. This game does a brilliant of letting you go where you want, but still giving you tips and hints on how on the right direction to go. Like in the previous level was the beams of light to get to uh, the, uh, the meditating places. And this is, you know, these guys leading you around. But nothing's stopping you from not going where they want you to. 
Guys, I can use some uh, some flight power here. You guys want to come help me? Get some recharger here. Sometimes they don't listen to you. You can call for them and they'll just look at you like, I don't know what you want, dude. So I'm going to catch them. Right, come back, do it again. There we go. And again. Yes. If you can catch you can get some really long flying chains, which is nice. So our tail is now touching the ground, so we're getting there. So now where to? Probably just towards the mountain. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate that. It looks like those uh, those boxes that were on the out, out in the desert that was holding all the all the uh, scarf people. So they're obviously they're somehow related to that power generation that that we got shown. It's got that same blue light in there. Secrets up here. Go over on the other side. I always go to the wrong side first. Well, that dude is you know yelling at me to go save him. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Extend our rope. But if you hear anything, it sounds like a dog crying. It is my dog's got in here with me. Remember what these lights are at the base of these statues. Uh, that shows you uh, uh, which of the uh, glyphs to increase your rogue length that you've gotten. So in my playthroughs, I've gotten you know, three. I've missed the third. One. I've gotten one, two, and four. So that's one way. If you want to try to get them all, you can check your progress and go back if you want to. Let's take a look and meditate again at the end of this level. Power generation is letting their civilization expand. They're replacing their their farms with more buildings. They're lighting them up and getting it higher and higher in the dunes. like hey you want to come with us so i think we're going to call it there for the first episode so when we get back we'll go and see where all these little uh, rope birds want us to go 
Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. That's going to do it for this first episode. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see some more, consider subscribing. Um, be on the lookout for the next episode of this. We're going to continue the game. Uh, and also uh, some reaction videos and playing some games with my sister uh, coming in down the line. So, yep, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.